Alright, and welcome back to the CLV2 tutorial series. This is Momo Guru, and I'm going to walk you through opening some bank accounts and upgrading your hardware. Alright, so in this tutorial, the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and open up our GPS module. And we're going to check out the database view. And scroll down to Concourse Bank. That's a very low-level bank, and it's fairly common. Go ahead and connect to that server. Once you connect to the server, scroll down to Bank Accounts. The first thing we're going to want to do is create a new bank account on this server. So go ahead and click the New button. A bank account number is automatically provided for you, and all you need to do is type the name associated with this account. Once done, hit the Register button. Alright, and we've now created a new account you'll notice that our email button is blinking down here with all the information that we've just provided. The email gives us our account name, our account number, and where we connected from. It's very important where we connect to this bank account from for security purposes. If you want a secure account that no other player can ever get access to, always connect directly from your gateway. However, connecting from your gateway will lead any hacking traces back to you personally, so never use this account for bank hacks. All right, now that we have a bank account, we want to go into the Loans area. Go ahead and click the Loans button, read the information provided, and click New Loan. Since we are only level 1, we only have 10,000 credit available to us. Let's go ahead and request all 10,000. All right, you can now see that we have 10,100 in our account. And in our personal agent profile, we have 9,900 credits. Let's go ahead and withdraw this money. We're going to leave 100 in there to leave this bank account open. I'm only going to take out 10,000. Go ahead and withdraw that money now. You can see that my new bank account has a balance of 100 credits. I'm going to go ahead and close the browser, open up the agent profile, and show you that we now have 19,900 credits available for us to spend. So let's go ahead and connect to Kilo's Hardware Depot and see what we can buy. Find Kilo's, it's the third server down in the list, and click the Connect button. Alright, now that we've connected to Kilo's, the first thing we're going to want to do is purchase a brand new motherboard. The motherboard that we have is very, very, very basic. I would recommend for beginners going with the HD PW Tech. So let's go ahead and purchase that. It has two power slots, disk slots. It'll take a few moments for this hardware to install. Now that we've purchased a PW Tech, open up your hardware module. You'll notice now that the name of the motherboard has changed, and we have two free available slots one for another power unit, and one for another disk drive. Go ahead and close your hardware module. Now we want to purchase another power supply. Go ahead and click Power Supply in the navigation and purchase the basic power core, the rank number 2, for 2500. And we also want to purchase another hard disk. So scroll over here to hard disk and we'll purchase the first rank 2. With the new power unit we'll be able to plug in this additional hard disk and with this additional hard disk we'll be able to manipulate files on servers and copy them onto our own hard drives regardless of the file size. Let's take a look at what we just purchased. Go ahead and open up your hardware module. You'll notice those two free blinking slots are now filled our power supply slot is filled with the basic power core, and we now have a basic drive in addition to the default drive that comes with our gateway. We can now remove this default drive, but it's unnecessary since it is giving us an extra 25 disk space. Go ahead and close your hardware configuration module and open up your file manager. If you take a look at your file manager, the additional disk space has provided us a lot more room. So now we'll be able to manipulate files on servers and copy files for missions. The next thing we're going to need to do is connect to Momo's software shop and purchase us some cracking software.
All right, so we've landed on the home page at Momo's. Go ahead and hit the software menu button. This will prompt you to a new menu of all the different types of software available in CodeLink. The first pieces of software we're going to want to purchase are in the system apps. So go ahead and click system apps. We want to purchase the log killer. The log killer is going to allow us to remove our traces, the footprints we leave behind when we're connecting and bouncing through servers and across satellite networks. Let's go ahead and purchase the log killer now. You'll notice two other programs, the Logbot and the Log Crawler. There are other variations of the Log Killer, but they're much more expensive and we can't afford them right now considering we need to purchase some other cracking software. Go ahead back to the software menu. Jump into Password Crackers and purchase yourself a low-level password cracker. I would recommend starting with the Gangster Crackers too. jump back into the software menu and now we're going to take a look at the proxy bypassers go ahead and purchase the against the proxy bypasser jump back into the software menu and take a look at the firewall crackers under firewall crackers we want to purchase the simple firewall bypasser Jump back into the software menu. And now that we have a few basic programs, we'll be able to complete some missions. Now we'll want to come back in here and explore all of these programs later, but for now we've got what we need. So go ahead and close Momos. You can also close your GPS connection module. Let's go ahead and take a look at the programs we just purchased. Open up your file manager. You'll notice the log killer, the password cracker, the proxy cracker and the firewall bypasser are all listed here. To install these programs we're going to need to drag them onto the memory bar, but it's obvious we're not going to have enough room. Let's go ahead and see what we can get on. The programs that we're going to need to complete our first mission take priority over the extras, so let's take a look at what we need. The first thing we're going to need to complete the first training mission is the file deleter program. So we can go ahead and remove the file copy program by dragging the small x on top of the copy. You'll notice that our memory free has updated. Now let's go ahead and try to drag on the log killer. You can see that the memory required is 25 and we have 44 free. The current disk space required to hold this installation package is 25. Once a program is installed onto the memory bar, you can delete the installation package. However, if you remove the program from memory, it will no longer be available to you until you repurchase the installation package and reinstall the program. Now that we have the log killer and the file deleter, let's go ahead and take a look at doing our first mission. This concludes this tutorial.